on the tail end of this raid. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Uh, either way, we're going to see if we can get some more people to come out and join us. Hopefully we can. And if we do, we are going to either with or without them try to delve a little deeper into the zone. So we'll see how this works. And uh, yeah, hopefully. All right, I'm loading back in. Did uh, Nibers get you in the group? He did not. No. Doesn't love me. <laughs> you love me. You really, really love me. Okay, let's do some cleric buffage. That's probably what he wanted the most, the cleric buffage. Yeah. I mean, you got your clicky, but it's just a little bitty, little bitty, tiny. Oh, I see. I see how it buffs. is. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know it. Yeah. Because that's the way. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You know what? I, I got like pacify. It. I'll pacify. I'll pacify. <laughs> <laughs> I have an atone stick. Oh, did you get? Did you get your atone stick? I did get an atone stick. It's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, so um, you went to Charlotte? Yeah, we. You weren't there with us. So I no. you, oh, that's right. It was the day or the two days right before you got back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we spent some time there with the neighbors. Kind of went a little deep and checked things out and had some fun. It was it was a good time. Got all the way to the Royals. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. we did not have a Lar with us. He was feeling sick that day. Otherwise, I probably would have part of my Epic War the whole thing by now. Mm. So it's all Lars, uh, Lars' fault, man. I'm, I'm blaming it completely on him. Blame it on my gut. I don't think one group can take on the um, take on the Overking. So Drakmire. Okay, so yeah, we're they going... can. Aftermath does it, but they're level sixty and have a lot of clickies. Well, you know, Nibers. Nibers can solo pretty much anything. Uh, if we're gonna move back to the front, if Drakmire would use uh, invulnerability and swim us through, it would be easy to do. Yeah, I can just sneak and hide my way through. Is it on? Yes, it's on. All right, here we go, baby. He's just heading to the elevator. Oh, so that I little, know where he wants to go. Okay. Just, just that little platform. Yep. Let's know when you're doing it. Come oh, on, I just there we go. Okay. Uh, there you go. Please, please, don't kill me. Please, please, don't Why fall does off. The, uh, seaweed in EverQuest look like um, underwater cat die. Uh, you know the graphics are what they can be. Um, hopefully you guys didn't get hurt from that. One person is about to die. Oh, one died. Bad B. Consent yep. me, whoever it was. This is bad B. Oh, come on, get up here. Splatter. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. How's he not online? Certainly an unforgiving zone, no doubt. Oh, that's why I <laughs> spelled his name. Let's see, uh, gamer. Hi, try to four slash w in game wants to see if you want it to group. Uh, never replied. I do apologize if that happened. Uh, sometimes I get so much spam on my windows during these raids that I do not see that. But almost always, if somebody sends me a message, it goes to a separate little chat bar down here on the bottom, and I can kind of scroll back and look at that from time to time. So I, I don't know why I didn't reply to you in that instance, but. Um, I do apologize and hit me up again because we are always looking for more people to group with. In fact, we're doing an open raid right now in Siren's Grotto. If you want to kind of come out and you know join us, if you got a little forty six plus. We are at the entrance right now, kind of reforming. This is the I won't say like the tail end of the raid, but allow we... us to go across over here. How'd you guys get up there? You just jump. <clears throat> Where did that corpse go? Drag me out of I got it behind me. 
Yeah, but we are definitely reforming. We had about three you don't to four groups. Using vulnerability to get through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it oh, probably oh, helps sure. since you get attacked right there. You're Jeff. lucky she didn't get attacked. There you go. All right, I'll heal him up or heal her up. I played uh, beta EQ back in the day. Was trying to get back into. It a bit. It could definitely be a shock to a system to jump back into the game, but I had a blast coming in and taking my time. I made my shadow. When I kind of created that guy. The ability to move will begin because the placement is a little bit of an issue. <laughs> but yeah, I recreated my very first tune, which was my shadow knight dark elf, and I just kind of ran around the dark woods and listen to the creepy music and saw the spiders again it was, it was a great time to just have that nostalgia factor uh, but once i got back into the game once I, like, I actually remembered how to open my inventory like the basics like that kind of stuff took a little while because i wasn't watching videos or anything i was just jumping headfirst into it and games have changed so much nowadays uh, it's kind of the same thing that happens with me and my brother. Uh, I don't get to see him all that often, so occasionally I'll get to go up and hang out with him on the weekends at his farm, and we'll play some games together. We'll play like Halo. Halo is one of those games that is notorious for changing their controllers, but just slightly, so that uh, one game to throw a grenade, the next game it's to reload. The other game it's to bash somebody in the head, and you can kind of see how those buttons getting confused throwing a grenade or bashing somebody in the head would uh, maybe spell doom if you run up to somebody and then throw a grenade and it attaches to them and then you die. Uh, same thing for this one. You go to other MMOs, you start seeing how the controls are just slightly different to the fact that when you come back to here, you're just like, oh, I don't know how anything works, and uh, you got to hold down buttons to figure out the the inspect you know, to actually see what the stats are. And yeah, once you get higher and higher in level, you get some better gear. They actually have stats on them. But at low levels, a lot of the time, you just inspect stuff and it has no stats. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't tell you anything about the item. Like these uh, giant warrior helmets are, you know, very, very uh, low on the description factor on what they actually do. You got 10 AC and 6 weight. But classes and races, it's just weird. So, yeah, it took me a little while to get used to it. But I definitely enjoyed that learning curve all over again. I am back. Ah, welcome back. So yeah, we are in Siren's Grotto tonight, and we had a few flawless diamonds dropped. They sell for about six or seven k, from what I've been told. They we had a pair of sleeves and boots for the netted, which is you know it has negative charisma, but it has really good uh, intel and a decent amount of stamina, and then I think a couple pieces of uh, strength on it. So kind of decent for a necromancer and maybe a few other classes out there. We got a walrus drum also. Yeah, walrus drum for uh, for the bards out there. I mean, we have Noddle, who is um, not here with us right now. He just kind of left a few minutes ago. But he has a level 60 bard, and he's still using that drum. So that's a pretty decent drum. Oh, I see what uh, I see what Nivers is doing. This is this is where we were last time. Why can't I move? So he's going to pull to that corner, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah. And we're just going to heal its pet. All right. Hello, so scared. What, the mob going to have a pet? Uh, you need uh, to be no, over he here, No, he is Lord. going to have a pet. You need to be over here, Lord. You don't even attack, man. Hello. Just turn up here? my volume on all of you guys. Cannon fodder? Can I, well, no, you want to be over here. You don't want to be over here at all. Yo. Hey. Uh, let's see, what is your take on the level of Project 1999 compared to the actual game during right, the same Dimmer, release? All right, Dimmer, do me a favor. Come to me. Uh, hold on one second, I'll answer that. This is where you're going to pull to. So if you would, go into the water over here. Oh man, I'm the pooler. This is not going to be fun. Target the cold spine that is in that tunnel. And cast something like stun. Oh. Yeah, a little Zone. bit of a train there. Zone. Zone it, man. I'll have to zone as well. 
<laughs> so, uh, me, so and, me as a fool. So, when you're going across the water, you do not want to have your character's body above the water. Pretty I mean, much lots when of you're friends. The door. This is this is gonna be fun. Oh, and there's his uh, his pet just walking away. Jimmy, you just die and Nibers just die? No, no. we zoned. We zoned. Ah, oh, but Bab is out here. Oh, uh, yeah. The Hydra and Paradox are in Temple of Ishan tonight. I'm zoned back in. Do you like your guys being called the Hydra uh, Alliance? <laughs> well, we're not actually part of the, the Alliance. We just raid with them, like, sometimes. Like yeah, twice a week, and sometimes more if we need more people. But is that kind of like uh, we don't like the smelly kid? We just kind of group with him once in a while. I don't know. I guess <laughs> that's just the way Stott's, you said it. We're Stott's like pretty, Stott's is pretty cool people. Like we're not There's really with those guys. He just kind of join us once in a while. How the hell did he get by? Then? I thought pirates barely exist anymore because he is he is a beast. It's because they did that stuff, man. It He he can tank he can take the damage. He he's a fifty five hundred plus uh, tank. It's right. kind of funny how Bab put his warrior in Azure Guard, but his monk's still in Blackheart Pirates. He didn't want to leave completely. So let me let he's, me get this. He's poor such a, he that. uses his monk. No, nah, he was using his monk a lot actually, but he's such a horrible puller that. He he dies so much that they made a drinking game out of it. Well, I don't know what happened to Black Art Pirates, but uh, they ran me off. All right, let me know when you want me to pull that guy down there. It's pretty bad when your own guild won't come and help you out. The only one in there was Tapar. The only one who would come help me out. It appears Drakmir is AFK and not oh. a good AFK spot. I'm I'm not. I'm not AFK. You have it under your, your name, AFK. Oh, uh, it's still doing. One second. I'm not AFK. I'm sorry. Ooh, robotic voice. So gonna die. He's gonna die. Can you hear me? Mm, I can. No, your phone reception sucks. Now I'm saying, can they hear me? Now you got your mic muted at the moment. Well, I'm trying to use the push to talk. Oh my god, what the... This is when having multiple screens, multiple monitors really helps. Bam! <laughs> this is about to happen. Because I got to pull a mob, and then I got these three seahorses, and then I got to jump up this giant ledge, which I had a hard time just a minute ago. So I know I'm going to get stuck on that and just royally get eaten. But we're going to do it. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to die. We're going to do this. All right. Wait a minute. I can't move. That's because... Okay. Ready when you are. All right. Two... Assisting the, the um, pet. Uh, did it come? Yeah, I came. Yeah. I just came okay. to the group. This is a max level IC. I think it went after Nibra. So do I stay do here or do I move around the corner? And you can move I have room. no clue. 
Get out of my way, please. What am I supposed to do here? Uh, just kind of chill and watch. Get, yeah, get the experience. The there, there's probably going to be some fights where you can jump in and, and, and help out, but for now, just, uh, just watch. Okay, um, so not sitting down, I think he said. Don't sit down, don't crouch. As he sits down right there. Well, it's, you know, it's the do as I say, not as I do kind of thing, so I'll be, oh, man, Drew, it's sitting down. I'm sitting down. Let's do this. All right, so when you say what is your take on the level of Project 99, what do you mean by that? You mean by the progression of the server versus uh, the progression of the game when it first came out on live? Because it's hard to say. You know, live, you know, kept getting expansion after expansion. They did updates. Uh, this game had to kind of work its way backwards as it came out. So when I first joined the server, they still had timers on the buffs. So it would actually let you know like 15 minutes before it wears off, 14 minutes, 59 seconds, and it would count down so and so. That wasn't classic in live, obviously. So a little different. There's there's some like um, new fangled stuff mixed in there with the older stuff. It's uh, it's a very hodgepodge, at least back then. Nowadays, it's closer to classic than it's ever been before, and... I don't see too many non-classic things in the game. There, there's still a couple, but not too much. It's great, though. I do kind of miss the fact that I wasn't on this server like I was on live when it first came out. I, I love the fact that when I got into that one, everything was new. You know, everything was... Nobody knew where anything was. Uh, name mobs being yeah. what they are was not something like you, you got to experience that in other MMOs. So it wasn't um, like if another MMO comes out nowadays, people have a good understanding of how it works. People know that there's camps there. A name guy might spawn one in five chance. Uh, if a name guy spawns, he's going to drop some loot and have a loot table. Like none of that was known. Like it's D&D &D style. Yeah, but like it's changed a little bit in uh, in the old classic D&D. &D. So I remember going to the Dervish Cutthroat Camp and killing there just to get experience, and the rings dropping, and those rings actually selling for a lot. People wanted rings. And, and the quest for too. Well, yeah, the quest, too, but, I mean, people just wanted rings to wear, and nobody had, like, the, the skill in, you know, craftsmanship to make those, plus nobody knew that you could make them either or what, what races were perfect for that, like enchanters to be able to enchant the bars and where to go to buy all that stuff. Like, nobody knew any of that, so it was all brand new. And so Dervish Cutthroat Rings were good. I remember going to um, Ronii and getting a Black and Iron Bastard Sword with my friend. Uh, he was one of the friends that got me into the game in the first place. Uh, he, brought the, he bought the copy of EverQuest for my brother, which allowed me to see it and get me interested in it. And, yeah, sir. Oh, crap, not, that, not again. You know, I first got <laughs> I had no right. clue about all the quests. I never did them back in the day. This is gonna Not be until after a few all right, low to low, low, if you would. What do you say, low to low? Uh, load low. Casting. What if there's a clicky for that? Just uh, any law or pacify. I'm guessing. Hey, uh, One Day Remains, give me one second to make sure this is good. Uh, did my voice cut out? No, I got, uh, I got Law Up. Or Pacify. Okay. Is this to me and begin casting, please? Okay, give me a second. When I say incoming, go straight to the patch. Incoming. Right, go it. straight to the patch. Yes, that's the point we're pulling it. Is it a critical failure? Let me up! Okay, feel free to move. <laughs> oh, if I'd like being the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Let's see, I remember Bandit Armor being a cool thing. Bandit Armor was good. You had black and iron armor from the same zone that was really good, and it looks cool too. Like those those pieces, you see some people fashion questing it now just for looks alone, but you don't really see anybody wearing that stuff. A lot of people on this server are incredibly nice. If you haven't already seen it for yourself since being back, uh, most people will when they come back to the game. People will just give them stuff. Sometimes an entire full set of gear day one upon coming into the server. Shit. Ooh, bad. I have aggro or something? Hmm. Should be able to go around the wall, though, to avoid AoE. But there is a guild on the server called All Lang Sign, and they... The way they work is they don't accept gear from anybody, and unless they earned it themselves by going to that zone and fighting or being a part of the raid, they can't get that loot. So it kind of brings back that old style for them. I wouldn't say it's for everybody, but it's kind of a cool way of playing because there are so many nice people on the server. It is kind of hard to get that unique feel of earning the gear like you used to. Even with that said, my first time on this server... After I played my Shadow Knight was my cleric in, of course, uh, High Elf City, you know, by Kelethan. I had somebody run by and give me a full set of bronze. You know, bronze used to drop in Unrest. Now they changed it. Now it's chain. Makes a little bit more sense that you would get chain at that level rather than bronze. But I got a full set of bronze, incredibly heavy for a cleric, but really cool. And I wore that all the way up to, like, level 35. So I still had my classic feel. And because I got that full set, I think it stopped other people from giving me, you know, gear because they saw that it was somewhat outfitted. But I was happy. I was happy with all that. And I've had a great time since being back. I do miss not being able to capture the footage of playing a fear and playing a hate and playing a sky before the level 60 cap was, you know, a thing in this game. And everybody had TOV armor and KO armor making it super easy because those zones used to be really dangerous and... Especially breaking fear was kind of a headache sometimes, but fun. Like it was just fun to go through there and and get eaten, get wrecked by so many things. All right, I guess I'm going back with neighbors. Uh, hey, Bat, do you have Summon Companion? Let's see what's going on here. What about you, Cypher? Do you have any uh, memories of old EverQuest that you maybe didn't get to relive on this one because the server's been out for a while? or um, All of the writing content. I used to, whenever I was uh, on... Live, I I started out in a in-game writing guild, and just by luck, and uh, ended up uh, going all the way up um, to 2002, and ended the game there. Yeah. But I uh, I hit every mob, every named mob. I was on a bat phone. I did all the fun stuff. Uh, what are your thoughts on Pantheon? I'm looking forward to it. Me and Cypher are both going to be playing yep. it as soon as they give the okay for, you know, I guess uh, early access. It's uh, Beta is the one that uh, Cypher has access to. I have Alpha, and I am going to split the cost with Cypher and go in with Beta on him. So hopefully we can bring that footage to you as soon as they say okay. Uh, they do have a non-disclosure agreement when you sign up for however long. I mean, at some point they're going to lift that, but until they do... Uh, we won't be able to show you the footage. We'll be able to talk about it. But it was supposed to be the first quarter of this year when they were going to be opening that up. First quarter has come and gone, and they haven't done it yet. So maybe second quarter, maybe third, who knows? Uh, maybe next year, hopefully not that long. But I have watched the streams of... Well, I, I should take that back. I've watched all of them except for the very last one, and I've gotten an hour into that one. So I think there's like another 40 minutes, 45 minutes left in that one. I do like the ideas of what they're trying to do. Some of the things that they have put into the game, albeit are still in development and are rough and they're going to change, I'm not 100% a fan of. But uh, I have listened to the people who are developing, developing it. What they want to go into the direction they they want to go is absolutely perfect with how I want them 
to do it. So with that said, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. I'm waiting to see where it goes and how it progress progresses. And uh, I really want them to do more with the environmental effects. And one of the things that you don't see too much in video games, or really in, in any video game, is the environment in, uh, affecting your character in either a negative or positive way. Uh, Zelda just came out on the, the Switch and also on the Wii U. If you want to go back to one of the earlier systems, that one actually has the environmental effects negatively impacting your character. So if you go to a cold zone, you got to put on a lot of gear to make yourself warmer. You got to eat hot food, drink hot water or tea or coffee or something like that to keep your guy at the appropriate level. Vice versa, if you go to a hot zone, you got to take off some of your gear and uh, drink things that are cold to keep your guy from getting too hot and uh, you know kind of passing out or whatever the the negative effects are in that one. They have mentioned that in the Pantheon one and the one of the last streams they showed it. It seemed to be more of a key to get from one zone to the next, the pressure zone, the ice, putting these things on, you get from one zone to the entrance to the next zone and then like those things don't really make any difference after that i would love to see it persistent i would love to see an ice clad or an everfrost where it's cold all the time and so therefore when you get hit you get hit harder everybody knows when you're outside and it's cold if somebody flicks your skin or you get hit by something it hurts more than it does when it's warm i'd like to see that somewhat incorporated in there Nice. I don't have beta alpha, but I'm thinking about getting it. Just hope they push quality over content. It does seem like they're going quality over content. They've already said that the graphics are placeholder graphics for the most of the stuff you'll see on their streams. And graphics will be the last thing they mess with. Graphics are not a concern. That's something they can easily upgrade. But they want to make sure the game mechanics are up to snuff to make it difficult enough, make it challenging enough. Uh, they're still kind of on the fence on what type of negative impact there's going to be for a death so they have said there's going to be reses in the game and they did say that you're going to have to travel from your buying point wherever that might be to your group but they also want to make it more group accessible so if you go down really deep into a dungeon and you want to pull somebody there with you you're going to have a little bit more than like call of the hero to get that person down to you like there's gonna be more more people more uh, classes that have a summon spell of some sort they also said druids will have or not maybe not druids but uh, teleporting classes will have fixed teleportation places you know kind of like um, west free or west commons and uh, cobalt scar but they're also going to have non-fixed locations in the zone that they're going to be able to teleport to somehow they haven't specified that one so that's going to be interesting to see how that goes they did mention a long time ago, and I'm not sure if they're still going to put it in the game or not because I haven't heard anything about it since, that when you go offline and you're in a group, say with your friends, and that group travels to another spot in the game, that you could technically still be part of that group. So when you log on, your character is there with your friends. So if you need to go AFK for an hour, go do something, come back, and your friends have traveled across the world, you don't have to travel across the world to meet them. It's an interesting idea. I, I can already see people taking advantage of that, using that as a uh, maybe a way to make money, you know, telling people I'm traveling from one side to the other group with me. I'll get you there. You can log back on uh, later in the day and, you know, you don't have to um, you don't have to get there. Like, I'm, I'm going to get you through all the dangerous spots. Hey, Sticks, how you doing, man? Uh, and Red Cloud, thanks for joining the stream. We are over in... Siren's Grotto at the moment, kind of hanging out with Nibras. We did have a full raid going on, three groups, three and a half groups actually there for a little bit. Uh, things got a little out of hand. I, you know, I don't want to blame it on one thing. It did seem like pets had a uh, part to play. Bards had a part to play. Uh, a little bit of everything going on in there. The kind of to wipe again and again and again. Ooh, look at that. Uh. Ancient fishing pole. Would love to random on that, maybe. Look at that. Random 600. Wish me luck, guys. Gonna need it. My rolls suck. Oh, wow. Holy. I might win that one. Somebody's gonna get a 600, though. Let's see. Not me. I'm not rolling. Can I buy Lee rights? 356. Nice. 
Let's just, uh, nobody else? I rolled. Oh, saw you. Sweet. That's one person down for uh, Kedge. Oh, seaweed got me. Seaweed got you. Oh, yeah. Got myself no, enduring no. breath. Let me take a look at that thing. I've never seen it before. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Plus 75 hit points. Primary hand. No off hand. I guess that's perfect for a cleric since he doesn't do nothing to sit on his fish. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's not ideal because it does take up your main hand if you're like a warrior. But for a caster, especially a cleric, I could I could get rid of my Cone of the Mystics. It's, it's a okay. lot of mana to get rid of, but for Enduring Breath, where I don't have to worry about it fading on me, I think uh, more than worth it. So you're handling uh, Nibris' pet, right? Yep. Okay. Just doing the group members in. Let's see. My first character was a wood elf, and it was rare to see evil races in g back then. I remember one night, an ogre was grouping with people in Crushbone, and there was a lot of buzz and chat about it. That that definitely was something I remember as well. You don't see that anymore because everybody knows the races and the classes, and All they right. know how to get from Different, one side to the if other. You would follow me. All right, guys. Give me a second. I am going to be doing. Uh, Crazy, crazy stuff. One moment. In fact, let me put on my EBI. Why are you backing up to the pet? Yeah, I remember running into an erudite for the very first time. Because they were all the way on the other side of the world. All right. So, yes, if you would, Demaru, simply use your invulnerability here. Face pull the watchery. That's right in front of us. Simply pull it back to us. Yeah, man. You should DA. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's simple. <laughs> Come on, watery. I'm glad he's having you do this. Alright, I got two. Did you use the stun? <laughs> no, I tried to face pull, but I think I got way too close. <laughs> right on. Now you know for next time. Get me out of the water. This is taking a little bit of damage. Yeah, I uh, I remember the erudites. They were they were just strange because you, you'd see them for the first time and they look so close to like other classes. You know, obviously the big forehead kind of throw. Oh my god, Nibris is going down so fast. No, uh, oh, no way. All right, yeah, guys. Yeah, break. Worst time. This is this is gonna get bad. Um, zone it. I don't think my pet's gonna be able to handle this mob either. Yeah, zone it, guys. Uh, alright. DA on. Going for the zone. Oh, I got summoned. No. <laughs> Did you just love Did that? Did you DA? I, no, I use DA to pull. Uh, well, you don't keep two, red, two DAs up there? No, do I, do I have spots for two DAs? Possibly, I if I get rid of my buffs. I don't know what your spell list is, but my spell list allows me to have two DAs all the time. No, that, that, I have four heals, a gate, a root, and a DA, and the last spot is used for buffs. Just one buff at a time. What all heals do you keep up, man? I keep a small heal for casters. I keep a uh, medium heal for uh, tanks who are going down really fast. I keep a, a sea heal for, you know, obviously the big tanks. 
and then I keep a, a heal over time because I'm lazy and that one usually allows me to uh, kind of sit back and not do anything. When I did it, I think I only had two heals up. I had a complete heal for the pet, and then for a Nibris, I probably had three heals up. Hey, it's Acer. I had, I had uh, Celestial Elixir. I would cast it on Nibris. When yeah, I don't have... I'll when have he would the get hit, pot. and then probably spam Divine Light or something like that. Yeah, I have... I prob- um, I probably... I have- I'm oh, sorry. I probably did have. Water like, servant says two. you will not evade me. I probably had oh. both divine barriers up when I was there with him, just because I was using it a lot. I probably should put it up. I didn't think I'd need it. I, I almost never use. I usually have gate up too, but I don't think I did for that because the zone lines aren't there. You could just run it. Where do you want me to drag you to there, Demi? Um, wherever Cypher wants it. Cause I believe where where we were standing up. or sitting. Oh, back up there. I think that's where he died. Yeah, every dice were really rare just because like they, they did have their own little continent. And most of them, when you first started, didn't know that you had to take a boat just to get to Kinos. And the Kinos was way way on the other side of the world. So making that trip, especially through High Pass, where you needed an Aviz, wasn't going to happen. Yeah, it was it was fun. You know, just the unknown. So that's why I'm kind of looking forward to Pantheon. Like, I'm watching the streams because people were psyched about it, and I'm kind of curious myself to see which direction they're going. But I'm also wanting to leave some of it to you know just like getting in there and figuring the stuff out and i think there's always going to be a little bit of that no matter what but you know mmos in general kind of follow a blueprint they're like boy bands you know a little bit of uh, the same mix no matter where you go uh, <laughs> oh yeah let me get you nibris had to jump into the zone because he was being chased oh by those uh sirens Mm-hmm. I had a very, very bad experience with those sirens. I was going over to try to start my epic. Anytime I do anything with my epic, I always have a bad experience. But I was going to go try my epic in uh, Lake Rattier. And I was just going to go down there and see how far I could get while swimming. And I pushed it too far. I kept swimming, even though I knew I had to come back out without enduring breath. And I ended up drowning like an idiot. And I was bound at the entrance to Siren's Grotto. I had actually just duoed with the Nibris the night before. So I was like, ah, that's not a big deal. I'll just swim out, go over there, get me a port. Uh, not that I have any money on me, but hopefully they, they take an IOU and I can pay them back in a little bit later. So I get out there and, of course, the Sirens that never bother me ever, not once when I have equipment on, or even just period, have ever bothered me, decided to troll me the whole time. So one charmed me, and then as soon as the charm broke, they killed me. Went out there, tried to get my body back again. They killed me again and again. I think I died like 14 times there at the entrance before I was finally able to get away. And then I still had to res all those bodies. So dragging all those corpses over to our little rock, getting the res, going back all the way to Wrath Mountain. It was just a nightmare scenario. Just And I was already ready to log off like before I had got to Wrath Mountain. So this is like two hours later than I was ready to play. <laughs> so it was not a good day and it just kind of uh doubled down on my my realization that epics suck and i don't want to do them but i got these guys over here that keep pro- uh, poking and prodding me to go do my epic and I'm, I'm getting there slowly but surely uh cypher's already gotten his he got his in about an hour of work and i think he said he could have got it faster if he actually put his mind to it and <laughs> are you changing the speed of that as well i am you know because I mean... like we, we already Four days been... equals an hour in this game. <laughs> we, Give we... me consent. All right. Let me get you. Yeah, we, uh, we keep upping the or lowering the level on which uh, Alar got his epic. I think uh, now it was before he was born. He was just giving it to him. It's like a silver spoon. Yeah, uh, I really hate epics. 
I, I had a horrible time getting an epic on the first time around, and this time I'm still not enjoying it. I hate those awesome weapons that help me out from having to use all my mana to res people. Me too. Me yeah. too. See, I, there's I other hate, people out there. I hate how my click stick uh, helps us recover from wipes and like a, a second of the time. No, isn't it annoying? <laughs> it's so bad. It is. Yeah. Everybody hates this. I like things. I like things to be way way harder and more time consuming. I like the pain, you know. Like give me give me that vice that just uh, tortures me for no reason whatsoever. And I mean, we are playing EverQuest after all. Like if you if you don't like a little bit of torture, you're probably in the wrong game. But now that I have my click stick, everybody just expects me to have it on all the time. You have something better? Uh, I got in a tone stick. Does that kill? Kind of. I mean, for the right situation. Now, how do you use your atone stick? Is there certain mobs like, that you tend to use it on more than others? Or? I haven't used it at all because usually in that situation, really? there's a channer like a mimbler. Yeah. Aw, uh, man, that's my favorite. It's my favorite tool. You, the best way to do it is you root the mob, you hit it, uh, you atone it, and then you pacify it, and then you walk away from it, and then it's it's. Good to go. Well, wait, so you have to atone it and then pacify it? Yeah. What if you don't? Oh, well, pacify allows you to be able to, um, once the root breaks and pacify is on, you can walk right past it without it uh, attacking you. Can't you walk past it once it's rooted and then just atone it from the other side? Whatever, man. If people are passing by, if they're um, at like 10% health and they're trying to get to the zone line because they have a train... It's not going to add on them. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I'm just, you know, trying to figure out what's absolutely necessary and what's more of the luxury. Because you're going to have instance where you're, like, low on mana or you don't have that spell up, but you have the stick. You know, because I always have root, and I now I have the atone stick. I don't always have uh, pacifier law up. See, this is my spell list, and everybody does their own spell list their own way. Top spell is complete heal, so I can bring it right back up to reuse it. Uh, if I have to for your healing uh, several people. You can't do uh, that. Divine though. Light, Remedy, Pacify, uh, Root, D uh, DA1, DA2, and Gate. Complete Heal isn't one of those that you can instant uh, refresh, though. Yeah, it is. You sure? I don't think it is. Yep, Top Spell, Instant Refresh. Right. I, I knew that you could do it for the Top Spell. I just knew that there were certain spells... I uh, would not let you instant click. Pacify, you can't. I've tried to... Uh, you, pacify will not allow you to refresh it. I don't think I've ever been in an instance where I need it to refresh Complete Hill that quickly. It's a slow spell to cast, and if if they're dying that quickly, then you know an extra second usually does not make that big of a difference. I tend to save it for Remedy. Remedy is a small heal, but it uh, is a long range, so I can hit them from very far away, depending on you know how far away they are from the group. Some people tend to run when they get hurt. It's the worst thing you can possibly do, but some people do it. Whiskey thought of throttling or something. Yeah, yeah, I don't understand why they're doing it. You're getting further away from the cleric. You need to stay next to them. But they run, so Remedy has the longest range. Uh, it's the fastest cast time. It doesn't do very much, but it's great for a spot heal till... Uh, either somebody can get the mob off of them, mezzing, um, somebody else can maybe do a bigger hill, something along those lines. And it usually works fairly well to have that one there, but I, I guess I can see where you're going with that complete hill on the top. Yeah. And then, I mean, I have my I have my nice little <laughs> light show <laughs> that I can do. And I'll pop it right back up. Let's get my and if I'm outside, I'd do my J boots. Alright, so I want to get my second one up. Let's see. Divine Aura. There we go. So that last uh, pull was uh, all my fault, guys. I He said to face pull, I went too far. So I got two. And I think a third one came in somehow. Maybe it roamed in on the, the weird pathing that's in the zone or not, but um, just a tad bit too much. And then Nyrus's pet broke at like the worst possible time. So we'll see how this works this time. Well, at least the mob didn't die if there was items that Nyrus put on it. 
You know, Nightburst is really, really good about that since he's lost his pet a couple times through people not healing it when he tells them to. One of the things that you guys need to be aware of is when you're healing a pet, if you are clicked on the little bar that is underneath somebody's name or looking at the little bar that is under somebody's name, it does not update mm -mm. all the time. Oh, Sometimes it's... No. You have to click on it. And if he's the second person in the group or the first person uh, in your in your group, you press F2, hit it again, and then you can see the, the pet's health. And just watch it. That's all I did the whole time that, that we've been here is just watch his bar. But if he tells you or somebody that has a pet class ask you to heal their pet, just take them at their word for it and give it a give it a complete heal. Uh, especially the ones here in Siren's Grotto. Oh my god, these things have so yeah. many hit points. So many hit points. He says to complete heal at 60, then complete heal at 60. Well, for Nightmare, he, yeah. he knows when his pet needs to be healed. But yeah, he had uh, somebody yeah. in his group that didn't do it when he was in Plane of Mischief. The pet died, and he lost over 15k worth of items. This is a bad day. He got it back in less than a day, but you know that's that's nice. You, you can't even completely heal the pet that he takes in the zone. It's it, got so many hit points. I've never let it get down to that low to to test it out, but I definitely trust your word on whether you're able to do it because these guys are just beastly. Now, I do know Pantheon is creating classes that are going to be somewhat like the classes here. They have uh, shown a few of them. The Monk class was the, the last class they showed. The pooling on that one, I think a lot of people were still up in the air about. Now, the guy who was pooling said he did have a Monk, and he did raid with that guy. So there's a little bit of skill there. And it's not completely finished, so maybe they didn't make it as hard as it possibly could. A combination of those two made it look incredibly easy. Like, he almost never failed. Once or twice, he, he failed to, to feign it off, but almost every single time it worked. I'm hoping they work with that, because on this one, you fail a lot. You fail a lot, which means you need the skill, you need extra monks in there to tag it off of you, or Shadow Knight, or uh, a bar, or somebody. Somebody who's gifted with the right spells and right uh, abilities to be able to help you with that. Hey, Pat's fan. You having a good day, man? We're over in Siren's Grotto tonight, just kind of chilling with Nibris. We've had quite a few wipes. Quite a few wipes today. You healing Nibris? Uh, I wasn't, but I can do my uh, my pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. they're, they're so sexy. All I got to do is take them off, wave them in the air, and everybody gets healed. Oh, that sounds nice. It's like uh, like pixie dust or something? I don't know. I don't know what's in these pants, but everybody loves them. What game are you talking Pantheon is uh, the game I was referring to a minute ago. It is made by Brad McQuaid, or partly made by him. There's several other people who are helping him out with it. And they are creating a EverQuest-like game. He's also had his hand in Vanguard. So it looks interesting. It's uh, definitely a game that's going to be more geared towards people who like either slower gameplay and more challenging gameplay built in with um, the downsides of of a give and take. You know, this, this game is all about the give and take. It gives you one thing, um, like res, but it, it takes that part of the death. You know, like you, you got to make your, your way back to your corpse. Every, everywhere you look, there's always that give and take, which I love. Uh, not bad, just finishing supper. Looks like a nice and cozy corner, you guys. <laughs> Except this whole place is made of ice, so everybody's butt is freezing right now. Crow should never tell someone there is pixie dust down your pants. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, except I gotta take these off and wave them around. So, like, you just don't care. Wave your underwear in the air. So, my guy... Right, is, I'm, is full, looking... I'm full man. I wanna, I'm gonna heal him. Okay. Right, I can't. I can't stand the pants. I, I'm still it, at 55, percent so I'll man up. Stand the pants. But look how weird my guy is. Seriously, look at him right now. He has a pink breastplate, pink boots, gold pants, purple sleeves, purple helmet, and now he's using a fishing pole and a book. I don't know <laughs> where my guy came from. <laughs> 
<laughs> Is that the complete idiot's guide to fishing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it must be. <laughs> Go to the desert. Hey, you're wearing your lucky shoes, your lucky breastplate, your lucky pants, your lucky, uh, yeah, everything. Lucky book, reading while you're fishing. This guy, it's laundry day every day for him. He just he just picked whatever's up on the ground and threw it on. Hey, at least he got dressed, right? <laughs> yes, not a very good dress, but <laughs> he got some. So, very, very hodgepodge. I am one of the only clerics. I should mention that. I am one of the only clerics I've seen with this breastplate. But that is because it's not a very good breastplate for a cleric. Oh, well, I guess I shouldn't say it. It's, it's a good breastplate. It's not the best. Sky Shrine would have been ideal. It has, I think, plus two extra magic resist and, like, one extra wisdom. So, they're very, very close to one another. The difference on this breastplate is that you have to have faction with Kale, which is hard to get or a little bit more difficult than most, and it has more AC than anything else. So it's very, very, very sought after for tanks, and somehow my cleric ended up with it. So you probably won't see too many clerics with it for that one reason alone, and I doubt I will ever get a full set of gear with this guy when it comes to that pink armor. Uh, let's see. Hey, been following you on YouTube a couple of weeks. Decided to get back into P99. Keep posting. I'll keep watching. So a big shout-out goes to Gmail, <laughs> which is his name. I love it. Gmail. Thanks, man. Love the name, by the way. Going. There we go. So, yeah, I think we're all meeting up, getting ready to uh, give it another go. Remember, guys, this is a open raid, sort of, still, for Sirens Grotto. So if any of you guys out there who are watching are 46 or above that want to come out, uh, you guys are welcome to it. We're having uh, uh, – it's a greed roll, so if anything drops that you guys want, you're welcome to roll on it with everybody else. And there's some really, really good stuff that drops in the zone. We get enough people, we'll delve even deeper into here maybe get some wave crashers if we're extremely lucky crashers multiple i i would expect to get a beast in a um and a wave crasher but not multiple wave crashers uh <laughs> you never know it's a pretty tough zone Streaming. There you go. Uh, Google the shutdown P99 starting now because of that name. I, I, I can't say anything on that one. I don't want to get sued by Google. It's like when Disney comes up, I got to stop talking. Some game companies, some, some companies in general just are very, very... Mm, when Disney comes around, you got to chop off your go? tongue. Timber. What was that again? That's when you when Disney comes around, you gotta chop off your tongue. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm at uh, 87. That should be good, right? Yep, yep. Alright. Do I need pacify again? No. Well, there's mobs in the water there. I mean, they're going to, you know, they might be things. Get that. Get them dogs, what? Such and things and such. I wish you could go fishing with Well, there's rabbit. only one monster in between here and the tunnel. Stun the Wadri and bring him up here, okay? I'll take the aggro from the seahorse, so go ahead. Say so the Wadri, right? Oh, watery. You see me, right? Oh my god. Did you stun him? No. That's what he said to do. He said to stun him? No, he didn't. I 
I thought he said. No, I asked him if I needed it. He said no. Not. Not, um. Let me up. Alright, it's incoming, guys. Oh, yeah, check that pool out, dude. Alright. <laughs> I do not like the damage. Okay, guys. Hello, Vest. Can you hear me? Uh, my lovely 13 hour workday winding down. Thank God I'm going to head home, clean up, pop back on if you're still streaming. Good luck. Uh, drive home safe, man. We'll see you when you get back. 13 hours. That is rough. 13 hours, yeah. And why do I have a feeling that's probably on his feet the whole time? Oh, that would kill me. I could do that kind of work when I was younger. Uh, going through uh, high school to afford my my car and save up for college, I worked at a movie theater, and we used to have early showings um, for the kiddies. So they would come in at around 8 to 9, sometimes a little earlier than that. So we had to get there about 7 in the morning, set everything up, start cooking the popcorn, you know, get all that kind of stuff um, prepared for them. And uh, then the, we had midnight showings, which not a lot of theaters were doing back then, but we had midnight showings. And you'd get out about 1.30, 2 o'clock, and you still have to get to the bank, and then you'd have to drive home. So I was getting home. Holy crap. So I was I was getting out uh, and getting home about 3, and then having to go there about 7. And I was doing that, like, every day there for a while. Didn't phase me one little bit. Nowadays, there's no way, no way my body is going to handle that. <sighs> Jeez, you got the heels on the. I'm doing, the, uh, I'm person. doing remedies as fast as I can, but she's, she's taking hits <laughs> hard. I think she may have stepped out a little too far. There we go. We got things under control. Uh, yes, it is, but it's usually 14, so it's a win. Uh, I do 14 hours Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Then Thursday and Friday is a bit better. And yes, it's all leg work, sitting at work. What's that? Oh, man. Well, wow. you, you got some great leg muscles at the very least. Um, yeah, you must be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> man, yeah, it's kind of like what my brother started with uh, when he was doing the pull work kind of working his way up the ladder now he kind of oversees all that but remember him putting in so many hours doing all that uh you know heavy lifting and you know building the construction of the pools and the chlorine and, and i was just telling him like your your body can handle it when you're young you start getting a little older you start noticing that it starts to affect you bit by bit and your bet your knees go bad your back goes bad holy crap i'm sounding like an old guy but you know definitely um be nice to your body because it pays dividends in the future and wear sunscreen. <laughs> For heaven's sake, wear sunscreen, guys. All right. I think we're back in order. Yeah. I start burning in like 15 minutes. Well, it's beyond the burning. Like, you just, you know, skin cancer is a real thing, and the sun seems to get brighter and brighter every year. Maybe the ozone layer goes down more and more every year, but... Well, get a better education like y'all probably Fine, have, and you won't be a manual labor. Oh, you guys can hear me? No. Ah! The. <clears throat> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with manual labor, and manual labor okay, pays Demarin, a lot. Which do you stun the monster in the front tunnel? See, he said stun, right? Sure. Give me one second. He said stun yeah, this time, but it's the one in the front tunnel. Oh, I didn't mean to loot that. Okay, let's do this. Ah, oh, come on.
Okay, ready when you are. Mm, I don't know if that worked. I used the wrong spell. Alright, let's try that again. Ah, you too, man. Drive safe. Got it that time. Oh, man, it went for somebody else's time. Oh, Nybris <laughs> is taking some damage. I hate to be like Nybris has to have priority on heals, but Nybris has to have priority on heals. Yep. If he goes down, pretty much a white for everybody. I'm all. So the reason behind the, the reason for fighting them on the other side of the wall, guys, for those of you who aren't aware, is that these icy servants, they do cast a giant area effect that hurts quite a few people, like that one right there, and they also dispel. And if you fight them on the other side of the wall, the people who can cast through walls do not get hit by that area effect, and they don't get hit by the dispel. It saves mana all around, and it's just a really nice trick to use. I don't know if they really intended the game to be played that way. But it is part of many, many zones that you can do that trick in. So I figured if they were ever going to fix that, they would have fixed it a long, long time ago. And yeah, I think even on live today, that trick is still there. Oh, there's a uh, kelp sash there for those. Be careful, uh, Drachner and Sasuke. There's a mob that pops back there. Did you guys already ran him on the, the sash? I have no clue. I didn't see it. Interesting to see uh, who won that one. It's kind of a nice five intel for a belt. So. Five intel for a belt. There's not a lot of belts out there that have intel on a caster. I think the Braid 8 Quarter is one of them. Hey, he just ran out right then. Uh, it's, I guess he, I see he's running on the bridge, but he drops full, through the floor. Uh, it'd be really bad to pull that on accident. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like little slots on the bridge, so he falls through. <laughs> wow. How's his pet been handling all that? Random 800. Oh, for the belt? Yes, sir. Yes. Ooh, Dragmire, you got a pretty good roll. Have you won anything at all tonight? No. None? No. I was kind of hoping I didn't win anything so I could win a belt or something later on. I think it's just greed all the way around. I've seen several people winning things and still randoming. So I toss that guy a heal. Is he coming to join us, or he just needed a res? Just need a red a res. I'm gonna ask him. Uh, mana check. Nice, I won that, apparently. So we've been doing uh, quite a few raids lately. We did a raid in Kale a few nights ago. I think it was Monday night that we did the raid in Kale, and that turned out really well. Uh, for the most part, we had a few little hiccups in there that we need to kind of tighten down for next time. Okay, go across, Demi.
Oh man, I gotta. Okay, I need a law. Did you get uh, Morel as well for a res? Yeah. Okay. Because he tried to give me 100 plat. Okay. Well, um... I turned it down, so if you want your money, you gotta send him a message. Yeah, the bongos are being played by Cypher Deck tonight, by the way, guys. Hey, yo! <laughs> hey! You saying you're gonna perform Babaloo or Ooh. something? Yeah, man. Sing it out for us. How about uh, my doctor, the witch doctor? <laughs> That's the tom tom. Yes, the uh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's that one scene in Wolf of Wall Street where the guy's like, "I just won an Oscar, you didn't." I don't always drive a luxury car, but when I do, I'm super conceited about it. I love the guy in movies. Don't get me wrong. I just like making fun of him a little bit. And that Wolf of Wall Street thing is making some news lately, I heard. How, uh, you know, he has all that money and people are still wanting to get their money back. Yeah, they'll probably never get their money back. No, no. There's too many loopholes. Check it out. <laughs> Jasper dropped off of these guys. I know you guys said gems were common currency here, but. A Jasper? Really? In this zone? <laughs> Big bucks, man. <laughs> At that whole six plat? Oh, not even. What? They're about maybe like six copper. This Jasper, this isn't worth anything. Yeah, six gold. Oh, not even gold. So what about you guys that are watching? Are you guys excited about Pantheon? Do you have a uh, class picked down? Do you think you're going to wait and see how it works out? Because I do know it's kind of expensive. It's $100 just to get into the base um, I don't know what you call it, buy-in, I guess, into that game uh, to support them and hopefully uh, let them finish. Because they're not being supported by you know a big company out there. There's no Sony or uh, Blizzard or anybody like that backing them. So it's the money they're getting from uh, interest uh, groups, people who are investing into it, which they're open to still. If some of you guys are out there are you know, well enough off that you want to invest into a company, they're still accepting those kind of things. Uh, but it's also the people who are excited about the game uh, they're kind of investors in a small way as well, except you're not going to get any return on it other than the game being finished. So $100 gets you two Steam keys, which, yeah, you know, in today's market, $50 for a game. It's kind of high, but not super high. I've seen games out there a lot higher than that, uh, straight out of the box, uh, especially AAA titles. So I wasn't too dissuade from, uh, from the price range. But yeah, that gets you into beta, not alpha. Or no, alpha or beta? Ah, oh, man, I can't even remember now. I think it's alpha, and the other one's beta.
But I'm kind of excited about the underwater race. That one just seems unique. I, I like things that aren't in every single game that you ever play. And if you're going to create another EverQuest game, and yeah, this one would be cool if they could just upgrade the graphics of EverQuest while keeping the same uh, mechanics into it, maybe adding a few zones that we don't already have. But I still like... Um, you know, like the idea of an entire underwater town. And hopefully if you have a starting city that's underwater, I'm just thinking that, you know, maybe they have some underwater beginner areas. And no game has really ever shown me a full underwater continent with the mechanics that would take advantage of a three-dimensional type of pooling system. Well, there was, um, I mean, it wasn't a completely underwater continent, but... Uh, is uh, mostly underwater. There's Trials of Atlantis for uh, uh, Dark Age of Camelot, where you could do a lot of farming and um, uh, boss killing underwater. But did it seem like it added anything? Like, was it kind of like an afterthought? Oh, of, yeah. oh it's it's in the water, and so the same pooling tactics work, or was like um, the three dimensional aspect of that taken advantage of? It was, it was definitely taken advantage of. Very different. So I'm hoping they do something like, than like that. I never got to see that for myself. So One Day Remains says, I love the idea of Pantheon, but after Vanguard, I'm apprehensive. We'll probably pick it up once it launches. See, I never played Vanguard, so I'm going by the chat rooms, the forums, what people said about Vanguard. Some people loved that game. So maybe uh, maybe it had some redeeming qualities. I hear the crafting system in Vanguard was kind of nice for some people. So they're actually expecting or hoping that that will be integrated into the Pantheon form of crafting. They have only somewhat touched on how the crafting is going to work in Pantheon. I think the way they really truly want it to be is the items for crafting at high end are going to be just as rare as the items you would normally get by camping and named. But I just healed that pet for 10,000 hit points. Wow. Which is the max hit points that you can <laughs> heal with complete heal. Yep. That was a sword. Uh, and he was still at 65% health. Mm hmm. <laughs> so, anybody who's working on their uh, cold name ring quest, I guess? Oh, it's for the shawl. All right. Swordfish tooth? Yeah. I'll pass. I'm going to pass on that one. I'll probably do it at some point, but not for a long, long time. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Congrats. That's the last quest I'll do at EverQuest. Yep, that's no doubt. I will not do any other quests after that. And so, because I'm going to do the uh, Coldane Ring quest first. Same then, here. And then I'll do that ring. Or do the, the Shaw. Shaw, and there's no other reason I need to be doing a quest again in my life. That's not true. Playing a mischief has tons of quests that you turn well, in to get those flowers. Thing. Uh oh, it's the that's, same thing, dude. That's, How far that's you a, go the quest? A quest uh, is a quest is a quest, quest. Okay. Just like a horse is a horse, of course. Unless you're the Mr. Special and uh, Mr. Red. The East Peanut Butter. Oh, oh my goodness, worse it is. Kind of seems like the Sean just... quest is an epic quest all on its own. Oh, yeah, except an epic quest that you could fail, apparently, when you try to do the turn ins or the combines. <laughs> At least with the epic, um, I, I don't think you can fail anything on the epic. I don't think the turn ins are what you fail. I think it's the, uh, unless you screw up, of course. Yeah, you can screw up with epic quests, but. I mean. Oh, I know all about that. It's the it's the combines that, that will screw you sometimes. I guess there is one epic that I do remember hearing that you have to do a little bit of tailoring and combine like a spell and two other items. I've had some people on the East Common Tunnels hit me up to do that one when I'm selling backpacks and they know I have a high enough skill. And I'm always kind of hesitant because I know if they lose those items, I got to go start all over again. 
But I've never failed on it. Now, the next time I do it, I definitely will, but... Is that the monk robe? Might be. It's been a while. Because I know there's a needle and a thimble or something like that. You have to take uh, the pattern and then the needle and thread. Put it in the sewing kit. and It's supposed to be a uh, non-fail, I think. I don't think anything in this game is 100% non-fail. <laughs> you know, no doubt. Um, the, I'm working on I'm trying to get just a 165 on um, on blacksmithing and a guildy could finish the rest of the Nagata parts for me I just have to help them farm, uh, farm the stuff and um, I should be able to get my earring hopefully soon Of course, that requires a raid to kill the last guy. Seahorse scales. I don't know what those are used for. They drop? Yeah, he's asking if anybody else wants them or just FFAM. What are they for? I will tell you in just a moment. Uh, hey, Ben, how you doing, man? Yeah, Siren's Grotto is a uh, great zone, and we were doing a raid here earlier. Now it's kind of dwindled down to one group. Hey, Demaru, do you have invulnerability? So far, this group hasn't died except for one person, in it? I do. I Fight. got uh, two over the moment. Very cool. Do you want to face pull that third pool? Ah, uh, sure. Ride on. Try to play with the distance where you're... Not too close, oh, but not too It's far. the ring quest. Or actually, it wouldn't matter. We should just go back to the top anyways. Um, you just need one, right? Two up. Make a tainted avalanche ale brewing. Hold on a um, a bottle. Uh, he's not up inside that little tunnel. Yeah, he's, he's not up at the moment. Or am I going down the wrong tunnel? I don't know. I'm looking at the tunnel that they're looking at. Which is going towards that castle. Am I uh, looking at the wrong tunnel, neighbors? Because I don't see him up at the moment. Um, oh. We are that much quicker this time than last. We'll mess around the tempo a little bit. I don't even know why I'm doing that. I'll just do a complete heal. Yeah, it is a cleric fooling. We have uh, Nybris here, who's an enchanter, and he's used to uh, dueling this area, so he'll bring his enchanter. He'll get a cleric, or preferably a cleric with complete heal. He's done it with other, other classes, like a druid or a shaman, but... Uh, cleric is the best, and he'll charm. So bad, he's moving up to break his pet. Should his pet still be in the water, though, for getting killed? Or no, we're not going to kill him. We'll use it later. But yeah, he'll use a charm to get one of these pets, uh, buff it up, give it a whole bunch of items, and then all the cleric has to do is complete heal. But he'll use the cleric to pull it back so that the pet can instantly snag aggro, and then he uses all his spells. So it, it works out really, really well. It is weird, and uh, I'm not 100% comfortable with pulling on a cleric, but I am learning bit by bit as time goes on. And it's, it's, like I said, it's kind of fun. It's, uh, it's something different. Let's see. There are uh, non-fail crafted items like forges, looms, but the item still can fail unless it's a quest asked to go there. Uh, hey, Zomwe, how you doing, man? Yeah, um, we were just kind of talking about Let that earlier. Let us go east. Yep, we're going to the temple. Oh, sweet. And, of course, Trump breaks right now. <laughs> of course. Oh, I, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, I'm leading. 
I'm leading. <laughs> well, he's rechargeing his pet. May want to come back. Oh, Drag is dead. Or may may want a DA. <laughs> may want a DA. I'm... Get out of the water, dude. Get out of the water. I'm fine. I have DA up. Mm. Just getting there. Just got to get there. seconds, you're okay. There we go. I'm good. I made it. <laughs> Just apparently. And as soon as he's done with his pet stuff, we'll go. Uh, wow, can't wait to be 50 plus. I definitely enjoy the journey, man. You know, obviously, once you get to a higher level, there's a lot of things you can do. But some of the best times we had, or still have, on some of our alts is going to zones that you don't normally get to see too much of and just playing around with them. Oh, there's an entire group over there, huh? Where? Oh, on the left oh, side. Somebody got a See bunch of ads. It doesn't matter. Once you get all, uh, out of the water, you're safe. Assuming you can make it to dry land. Ah, you shouldn't have a too big of an issue with it. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you're going to have Pop a dead. Pop out of the water immediately. When you pass the wall. Um, uh, I couldn't. Who was that? None of our guys. Yeah, it was. Was that? So, ah, oh, hey, Choops. It's Soki. It's okay. Welcome to, welcome to the I guess, stream. I got something it's Soki. You can send anybody. Soki now. We are uh, streaming the second half of the raid. Yeah, I'm watching on, uh, I've been watching the whole time, pretty much back and forth right on Night vs. Channel. Oh, okay. It's going not too bad. We just decided to move a little deeper in, and you know how that happens sometimes. What? <laughs> huh? Tara, the one's up there. Ooh, hey, so you. You got you got your belt. Finally, only took two months. And the <laughs> thing is, three of them dropped tonight. Wow. How many people yeah. needed them? Two. Two. Oh, well, okay. define need. Well, want it, picked up, didn't let so rot. Yeah. Did you get your belt? Shoot. Yeah, I got it finally. Dude, awesome. That's a nice belt. Look at I it mean, right here. Crazy thing is, Soju was completely keyed for all the way to aisle seven. Wow. I don't know very many people to go to aisle, aisle seven. Were you guys doing the entire thing all the way to the very top? No, we didn't have enough people that could get keyed. Um, some of our folks that had um, keys to seven apparently quit and didn't tell anybody and didn't give anybody their info or anything like that. So we had two main clerics that aren't in the guild anymore that aren't keyed. Quit like the game or just the guild? Allegedly the game. Wow. That's going to Agnar, I guess. A lot of people were going to try that one out. I, I give it a chance. I see some people going over there, but then they're eventually coming back here because there's no way as much as they try and, and say they're going to create a classic feel, it's not going to be a classic. It's it's going to be their version and, of it. Uh, yeah, it's because some of the mechanics they can't reverse. It. Well, they could, but it's hard coded, coded into the actual servers themselves Yeah. currently. So they would have to make completely separate servers. And then I got to do that. No, nah, it's not It's not feasible. So, like I said, I, I'll give it a shot. But experience potions, take it away for me. Being able to buy level day one, level 65 characters takes it away from me. And those are just some of the weird problems that they ran into the last time they tried this. Now, I'm not trying to badmouth them and say this time's going to fail, uh, but that did happen last time. And that, a lot of people were upset about that. They did, I think, three or four wipes within the first like two or three days. And a lot of people were upset about that. They took time off so that they can go in there with all their friends for a couple of days and kind of you know, get that feels all over again and then have like the server down immediately and wipes happening and all this weird stuff. Um, you left a little bit of a bad taste in some people's mouths. So I'm hoping they learn from those lessons and this one goes off without a hitch, but we'll just have to kind of wait and see how it goes. Um, I'm AF AFK a minute. I'm gonna, uh, so if you have, if I, has to be healed, it's all you, man. 
All right. <laughs> uh, Nibris doesn't actually have a pet at the moment. So let's see. Uh, One Day Remains says, Daybreak cannot or will not recreate a classic server. No way, no how. They can. I just don't see them wanting to. I don't, I don't know why. It's weird because you, you would think in today's day and age, obviously Daybreak doesn't have the ability to do this as right, they progress. All right, what is your but... mana, Demiro? Hold on a second, guys. Uh, it's full mana. Very cool. If you would, load root and roll. Right. Actually, no, you don't need um, root. You just need lol. Oh, now he tells me. All right, up and running. All right, so I'm going to pull the servant. Yeah, it seems like as, uh, especially for Pantheon, I kind of hope they do this, is to save a freeze frame of their servers right before they come out with expansions. And just put that on a hard drive somewhere. I realize that'd be okay, a freaking hard drive. Okay, send the on the servant. Good. Yeah, I realize that would be a very, very large hard drive to save a backup of the server. But if they do that, and they ever want to go back and recreate a classic feel for that game, they have it. They don't have to go back and, like, redo and scale back. Like, it's just done. So, EverQuest, it didn't have that uh, 2020 hindsight. They didn't think that was ever going to be a thing. I've seen it with pretty much every game out there that people want servers at different time periods. Uh, Blizzard is still kicking, going very, very strong. And they shut those things down as soon as they pop up because obviously they're illegal and they didn't get permission, unlike P99 that has permission, uh, the blessing of uh, Daybreak Games, to exist and be here as long as they don't charge any money for it. I don't know. I just um, It seems like when they come out with these progression servers, having that kind of um, copy of the game would just be like, there it is. Like We don't have to do any work. We're making money off of people because they want to play those progression servers and not having to do anything for it. So I hope they, they do it with Pantheon. I don't think they will, but we'll wait and see. Uh, I, I definitely... Th oh, crap. That thing is about to die. Why is a liar hitting something? Mm, I do not know. Or is he throwing... Daggers. Oh, he's throwing stuff. Hey, you got uh, spot oh, heels on everybody. For the deadly strike. Me? Mm-hmm. No, I. Or are you healing the, the pet now? I'll go to the pet. All right, I'll get everybody else. And then give me a second to heal everybody, and then we'll get back into the conversation. And my idea of copying those servers may be more complicated than I think it is. It probably is. Because I don't know that much about programming, so it may not be that simple. It may be the, the most simplistic way of putting it. Do, do, do. Okay, I'm back. I live very close. Well, at least you don't have to drive very far to your work. Uh, I mean, you're, you're working 13, 14 hours a day, but it's uh, it's just down the street. Uh, four miles from one job and five miles from the other, and you're right, AC. There is nothing wrong with manual labor. It's an honest day's work for sure, uh, but you sure make life easier if you don't uh, piss off so much when you're young. Yeah, you know, we all do. We all do. And uh, some of us get luckier than others with the jobs that fall into our laps or the ones that we work really, really, really hard to get. Um, I don't know. My brother works manual labor or now not so much. He's kind of in the office part of it. And, uh, you know, just I, I see what it did to his body. And that's the only reason I, I say anything about it. But Hydros is doing construction now and he's driving one of those big rig type uh, vehicles that pick up those heavy loads and like that's that's pretty nice uh, some days he has ac in there as well some days he doesn't and that sucks and especially if you're in a hot part of the country but it's all good as long as you enjoy what you do hopefully if you're really really lucky you enjoy what you do and you don't have a crappy boss that makes you miserable i think going forward any successful mmo now will eventually be asked to make a classic server so they should be prepared for that i agree i hope that they are I hope they've seen the signs and looked at where other games have come from and learned from that. Uh, you would think that's how it would be, but, you know, you're 
sometimes surprised at just how unprepared people are and just how little they've learned from past experiences. I think this one will be good because Pantheon is coming from a person who did make EverQuest and did make Vanguard. So he has at least two MMOs under his belt. One still around to this day, the other one's not. So one was successful, the other one not so much. What was the differences he did with each one? Can he relate that into a new MMO and learn from both of those lessons and maybe mix something together that is both unique but still will last for a long time? I don't know. Uh, I have I have hope. That hey, he can. what is your mana, Jimuru? I am at 90%. Very cool. I'll pull this next one. This is where you'll need a lull. On the additional monster, I'll request your assistance in casting on the ad so I can then blur it after. Nothing dropped on that one? Alright, so you want me to assist you when you say so? Ah. Alright, begin casting the lull on the priestess. Priestess. Ew. Rest in peace, uh, Pat. Aw, oh, come on, Cypher. That, that's not, uh, Narvis's pet. Oh, is it? No. Oh, okay, good. That was the the other one. Hopefully, he didn't have anything on it. Low landed twice. Good to stop or keep going. Just needed it to land. All right, I'm healing people up. Yeah, Ice Serpent has a uh, arm shield on him. Yeah, yeah, I'm supposed to take it off, except I was whoo, almost dead. What? That I, I have to get out of Discord. I it's really lagging me. Uh, no worries. Yeah, you can get out. I'll, I'll tell you if he says anything. All right. I was having problems um, getting my heal to go off. Probably tagged um, that heal three or four times there. I resist um, a frosty death. Whatever that means. Is it okay. any effect spell that he has? Alright, so it's all good. I can't complain. I have a car, a roof, and food in the fridge, and plenty of green to puff on. So I'm happy to... You know, it's finding the little things in life that make you happy. Yeah, the AOE is a, um, clears your, like, the top two buffs, I think. Did I, did you need me to heal my, oh my goodness. Divine lighting. Uh, why, why do we have an ad? I am at twenty-seven uh, percent. How many wipes today, guys? Today, um, too many. Seven at least. Uh, mm, uh, divine lighting. Wow. I mean, Rue, you're about to die. That's that's conservative. I'm trying to figure out. Like, it's not. They they haven't all been full wipes. But seven and at least four wipes, and then like partial more. Nibrus's pet's dead. What do we do? Camp? You didn't heal it? Uh, I kept it healed. I mean, I'm trying to get. I think he said he was blurring it. His pet? Yeah, he blurred it. No, no, the siren for priestess. No, he has a pet. He blurred. He blurred his old pet, or his his real pet died. Yeah, he blurred his old pet. Okay, so he didn't lose anything. Um, 
I what's what's your man at? Twelve. Giving him a uh, heal two. real quick, and that's gonna be. Yeah, he's dead. Camp out, dude. Uh, Camp it. That's my last heal. Come on. That's it. Twenty-five seconds. Shall we get the bodies and call it for now? I'm dead. <laughs> you, yeah, uh, we can do that if you want. Very cool. When you said too far to the right, that myriad to the far right, Algros. And she Five was seconds. super resistant. Dead. That correlated with the breaks. I was like, oh, that is unfortunate timing. That's all good. It's been fun, though, at least. Oh, yes. I was FD'd and... Do rogues so they, have some kind of uh, uh, mob on disc me. <laughs> that makes them hard to hit, like uh, monks do? Nope. Nope. The best one we got is uh, a, an extra haste. But no defensive type. Nope. That sucks. Yeah, hey, Demru, if you want, um, allow us to talk later about running and another I am in seeing if we can get certain kinks worked out that you know occurred this time oh yeah absolutely after this is over uh, we'll stop the stream for a bit and we can talk very cool because all in all very minor things i mean i've seen wipes after i get a res i think i'm going to camp more dumber things for sure things that people could have otherwise controlled Yeah, I mean, overall, it hasn't been a bad night. I mean, we got some really good loot. We got a couple of those flawless diamonds. I know people were happy about that. You got that uh, bard loot that dropped, which is really nice, and a few other things. I'm happy about that fishing pole. <laughs> Maybe something simple, but during breath is nice. But yeah, little tiny things, especially... Uh... Yeah, I'm sure it's just yeah. little tiny things, like with the, uh, the kale raid that we ran the other night. Kind of learned a lot from that as well. I just realized you're actually talking in Discord, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, sorry. Anyways, I'm going to bring the spell Summon Companion, so people who are there have no reason not to have it. <laughs> because there's some something chat about navigating in, uh, from Durslick. the Cobalt Scar Zone line to that temple that really gets buggy with pets, because it all began with the pets running into the temple, or the castle in between, which outgrowed all the sirens and land monsters. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. This game... Who should we um, consent to, to get drags? Alar, probably. The you still alive, Alar? say that in the thing. No, no you died? I died. Anybody survive? Nibris, probably. Well, I mean, Nibris is there, probably. Uh, yeah, well, but we don't 70, have so. any... We don't have any reses. Looks like Bad and I will have to retrieve. Do, 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 do. Hey, Captain, how you doing, man? Or uh, yeah, you guys kind of missed... His non -kill, I'm sorry. Missed a little bit of the death, and, uh... I don't know so much about the glory... <laughs> But definitely the deaths. There's a lot of death. It's still fun. Like I, the the amount mm -hmm. of stuff that we went through here, you probably won't get to go to Siren's Grotto all that often. And this is one of the main reasons why it is just a tough zone. But I think we learned a little bit about what to do, and I, you kind of see this up in Planet Hate whenever you have like a pickup raid. Omni did one a long time ago. And they had a lot of people who had done that zone for months upon months upon months, probably years. They brought in a whole bunch of new people, and people were running off and touching walls that you wouldn't normally think would train things. But yeah, in that zone, it does. And just touching like a fountain trains like half the zone. And they were, they were keeping things under control. They actually had people at certain points directing people like traffic guards and saying, don't go beyond me, don't go beyond me. And they're just repeating the same thing over and over again to the point that they had very, very little 
major instances. They had little small ones, and those are bound to happen in an open raid with people that are unfamiliar. But the big stuff, they knew ahead of time what to tell people to do. And, you know, that's just, uh, I think, some of the stuff we're learning on how to do these because we're doing these pickup raids for you guys and, uh, you know, different skill levels coming to the table. So hopefully you guys will bear with us. And, uh, you know, still loot is loot even if it doesn't go nearly as well. And that's definitely one of the things that happened this time is uh, a lot of people died. Where were you bound to uh, AC? Uh, Wiggling lens? Hmm. I was pounding hail. See, some games with this stuff happens is everyone for themselves. It's, yeah, you, <laughs> we had about three and a half groups when we first started. And after the first wipe, we lost like four people. You can see right off the bat the dedication or the perseverance that people have in a certain instance. Sometimes, you know, it's, it's beyond that where they're just like, I'm not really looking to do too much with this like i'm just kind of checking it out and if it doesn't go very well i'll leave out the first wipe consent uh dead mouse two please all right i've died more or less right there where everybody else died yeah and so we lost a few people the first wipe i was actually pleasantly surprised to see that people stuck through it through the, the next like seven or eight wipes that we had and it was only towards the end when i was getting the distinct feeling that people were trying to sabotage it on purpose just because it was the same mistake happening again and again and again and again and we would res up buff up met up get ready for the pull and immediately upon pulling that one mob we all wipe do it again and again we would wipe so it just stopped us dead in our tracks, almost like somebody didn't want us to go any further. And I could just be imagining things, but I have seen people do that before, join open raids, just kind of sabotage it uh, because it makes them feel good because they enjoy doing that kind of thing. I don't know what the, the issue is with that. I'm hoping that wasn't the case. I hope it was just, you know, lack of, of uh, knowledge of the zone and little tiny minor mistakes that people weren't aware that they were causing. <laughs> places without res you're more than welcome to come join us unfortunately we are heading out after this res we're gonna end the stream for a little bit i'm gonna talk to nibris figure out some stuff out and then we might be streaming later tonight i don't want to say for sure i'm gonna see who's able to stay on who's gonna be heading to bed that kind of stuff and if we can put together maybe a kale raid or maybe just head on to seb and do some grouping over there uh you know we'll, we'll see He's calling me. Someone's trying to Who's call me. Calling? Uh, somebody's calling me as well. Oh, we'll see. Uh, do, do, do. I wish you could see who is calling. Like uh, some of our group calls have like ten people on them, and any one of those ten people could have initiated that call. Uh, Probably leaned against the freaking keyboard. It could have been. I mean, if they if they want to be in the call, just hit us up. Let us know. And we'll, we'll toss you in there. Oh, there we go. We can get captain. Get Captain, make it happen. Hello. Hey, man. Welcome. Yeah, we're just uh, we're getting prepared okay, to I get our bodies port. back. Did you get a port? No. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> yeah, that was that was me trying to call into the old call. Ah, no worries, dude. Yeah, he's just. Uh, I was like, I wonder if they're on that call, and I, <laughs> I just called in. <laughs> Scroll through the different ones in the little green phone. When it's green, that's the one. Oh, okay. Oh, no worries. Yeah, yeah sometimes we'll, we'll use the old old message. Sometimes we'll start a new one just because not everybody's Yeah, well, on. you guys were talking in that call or, or texting on that call or something. And uh, it was, I like, sick, saw all the new you know texts before you started up. Right. Yeah, it's not a big deal. So Siren's Grotto was uh, painful but profitable? Kind of. I mean, it was fun. I, I got uh, Flawless Diamond out of it and uh, an Enduring Breath uh, Fishing Rod, which is weird but cool. Nice. I got an item that I can hand to you for me. I got a little squat. <laughs> you should put, and I died. You should put that on one of your tunes, dude. This is, it's a nice item. I know. It is was, a nice item, but... Was there mm -hmm. a, uh, a Discord that Libris is in or something? Yeah, he's in... Um, what's the name of it? Let's to die in. You have a link to that one. 
Uh, this is my first time using Discord, so I have no idea how to link channels or where you even find out the name of the channel on there. Right. Complete noob. Tinkies. Tinky on. He's not. That tea is really peachy. Peachy sweet. I had to thin it with some water. Uthar. Nope. And they are not on either. Okay, so there's some dead bodies here, but nobody seems to be on. Pinky's corpse? Now, the, the great thing about doing these uh, corpse runs is that Cypher gets to use his clicky more than he's ever used his clicky ever before. Yep. And that, that item uh, levels up. It skills up as you use it more, right? <laughs> of a different oh, way. yeah. And yeah. at some point, I will have the ability to uh, res a whole raid for 100% if uh, if we ever went past this expansion. Mid mid battle with 100% health and mana? So, yeah, it's an insta cast. Of, uh, fire hose of Nem Nemec or whatever. <laughs> yep. And you fire shoot fire bolts shot. out of your eyes. <laughs> Let's see. Is when Interrupt worships him. <laughs> it's actually not too far beyond the realm of possibility when you're like 120 on the live server with all the gear that they have. I imagine they can go back and just... Sir. Hey, you know, we, we gotta push the limit. 120 <laughs> is where it's going. You know it's gonna get there one day. Oh, yeah. And then you're gonna get a mercenary that looks like an Eruk? That would be cool. But all you have to do is, is press a button and, and that says win. <laughs> and and it'll just it'll just play out, and you just sit back and watch and drink a soda. Oh man, we're a bunch of trolls when it comes to EverQuest Live, guys. We do apologize. I know some of you out there really enjoy it. Uh, we will be going, or some of us will be going over to Agnar to give it a shot, see how it is. Hopefully, it's um, oh, it's pretty cool. You know? Fun times. Fun times. We're now going to get attacked by an enchantress. She only hits for one hundred and twenty a piece. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, oh, hello, right, ouch, and I'm gonna die if she gets, oh, I zoned. <sighs> yeah, you do realize uh, those guys only attack when you're naked? Not quite sure why. They, they, Dongers! They see that you're wearing your PJs. Because your donger looks like a little worm, and, well, they are fish. <laughs> I guess it depends on the individual. Yeah, I would show you some of the loot that we got tonight. Unfortunately, I do not have my body with me. Um, let's Don't see. Wait on the radius. Very, very close to level 59. Once I get my res back, I'll be about a percent away. I see, I see a corpse of you. Is it sexy? Does it have gold pants on? Pink boots? Assless pants? Level 59. Uh, you know, it, it's another level of the gate. I'm not really looking forward to it all that much. Apparently, I do get a new heal over time spell, which would be kind of nice. Uh, but other than that, nothing huge that I'm looking forward to. And I hear it's really, really slow. So there's going to well, be that. Look at the bright side. You don't have to buy any more spells once you get there. Once you buy them, that's it. And we got a giant ogre here in front of me. You need an res? Let's see. Today's patch put the old graphics back on Velius and uh, below weapons. I'm glad they did that. That could be kind of cool. Uh, do, 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 not too bad. Just doing another CR. Bed bugs, man, they got me. <laughs> Some nasty bed bugs. I view my 
Nice. Remember, remind me to res my corpse. Hey, Cypher, don't forget to raise your corpse. No, yeah, don't raise your corpse, Cypher. Just eat the death. <laughs> He's already done that like once. I feel like I have to do that every day, every time. You accidentally boost the corpse before he reses it. Oh, uh, no, I died while, um... Ooh, how, 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 while... how far from 59 are you? Uh, I am about 1%. Oh, I can knock that out for you tonight. <laughs> I've been about 1% for the last two days. I'm not in too big a rush. Well, uh, rush, right? rush mush. Give me give me half an hour in uh, Chardock, and I'll, I'll power level you through it. Uh, can I come to that power level session? I'm just saying. <laughs> Chardock is an amazing experience. Viper says, we'll be good to see you at max level soon. Been watching since you were 54. Yeah, you know, he's, he's getting out there just nice and slow. Like I said before, uh, when I played my Cleric on live, when I got to 60, I felt like part of the game was kind of lost because leveling up is something that you do subconsciously, but you still feel like you're making some difference, even in groups where you're not really getting any loot. Uh, I do know other people, I talked to Super Bits and Bob about this, and he thought once he got to 60, the entire game opened up to him, and there was just so many places more that he could go to. I think as he gets Torpor at 60, and that makes a huge difference for, for a Shaman. For a Cleric... The best we get is Ageism, which is a buff, which all it really does is combine three of our former buffs into one, making it take up less space on a buff list and uh, making it easier for us to keep There's track of. The but nothing like game changing for the cleric happens at 60. Incoming me. Uh, which isn't watched. long, considering uh, watched okay. a bit of you and Thum in Lake of Omen. Yeah, we've been doing these uh, videos for a while now, me and Thum and on the whole gang, and we've been leveling up. And I have a lot of alts too, so you guys can go back and watch us on lower level zones. So you guys uh, don't have to worry about missing out on some of the lower level content uh, just because we're high level. Uh, we do like doing the high level content too because it's uh, stuff that some people may have never seen before or just haven't seen in a long time. But either way, it's still fun, you know, trying to check out, like, Lower Guck or Upper Guck or even going over into uh, Corner's Castle, which is something they've been talking about doing because a few of the guys that have joined us recently have never been into Corner's Castle. So, Thum wants to go down to the basement of Corner's Castle. Um, I wouldn't mind bringing my monk down there and just kind of uh, checking out the pooling situation. Last time we were there, I was the cleric, and it's definitely a different feel sitting in a room having things pulled to you than being the one out there pulling everything to the group going to waste my mana i'll take a clicky did i not click you nope you you, oh, you never you never click me dude never always the last one hey it's not my fault you don't you don't take you always sit by the phone <laughs> waiting for a clicky and never gets one. Oh. i feel so left out nobody loves me Cleric will always be my favorite class, was my first tune on Classic. Uh, Shadow Knight was my first tune. Cleric was my second. And I love both of them. I actually enjoy how one is night and day difference from the other. The other one is very active, Shadow Knight, and the other Cleric can be very active, but for the most part is boredom punctuated by oh, thanks moments for holding of... This event, it's it a game a of triage and experience. My first time yeah. doing SG, so that's cool. Right on. For a few people, oh, I think of it on my card. It's like who who has to die first. Hopefully, this or, won't you know, be Who gets the last heals first, and how much mana yeah, am I going to spend on it? Who do I need here. to let go? Exactly. There's more to explore when we have the opportunity. It's the whole. I'm sorry, Mr. Monk, but you've got mend, and if you can't feign it off and mend up, you're you're out of luck. Especially if you got like 14 mobs in the room. You either have to keep the Enchanter or the Bard alive, otherwise everybody's dead anyways. Yup. Hey, so you're taking a break after this, is that correct? Yeah, I gotta talk some stuff over with Nibrus, and then uh, we'll be back in a little bit after that. Hopefully. Okay. 
Um, if anybody's uh, going to be over and over there, I've got some stuff I need to shuffle around and some different characters. I could really use some help carrying some stuff or just you know handing stuff off. Uh, I don't think I have anybody in OT, but I do have a wizard. He might be able to make his way over there. Unless uh, Does Cypher... need a TL or a port out of here? Um, I just don't know uh, if anybody who's hammering out of Siren's Grotto is going to be there. Let's see how close am I? Yeah, just a little sliver. I want to level a cleric on P99. They're always needed. There's just, you know, you can never have enough clerics or enchanters in this game. Uh, cleric on live is much more active in some aspects. They get double attack and a summable that crits proc for 25k. Summon hammer. They get a summon hammer in this one too. It's a sucky hammer, but it's used a lot of the time for um, pooling. So it's kind of useful in some of those situations. Could I get a res, please? Yeah, that's from Besalt. Beset. Sure. I thought I risked him. All right, I'm resting now. See, you got you got to make sure you clicked on the right names. I went from I went from uh, left to right. So yeah, those of you who are watching, if we, uh, you gonna be on later, Cipher? Yeah. You gonna be on later, uh, Alar? Probably not. It's, it's just now ten o'clock. I'll be going to bed in about an hour. All right. Well, then I guess we'll play it by ear and see uh, who's gonna be on and what we can get up to. Uh, two link. I'll be around. Two link says uh, we can hit up Seb or maybe Soul B for experience. So if you want to hit him up, Cipher. Yep. And, uh, you know, of course, we have... Um... Well, isn't that who we were talking to in, in the... Uh, this is Rizel. I was going to... Ah, Rizel, okay. I would, I would drag you guys through Chardock and get you some XP. I love that zone for power leveling. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, like do you go down into the pit next to the slaves? No, I just... I run the entrance, and uh, I just go from the, the beginning up to the fort, pull everything in the fort, and then plow on down the exit, and then run out and come back around, met up, and re-grab my pet. And or right go down, go down like through the bridge, uh, all the way around, and then back through the, the slave alley, if, if it's uh, a, a more... Like, if I'm just with a cleric, I, I, I do the entrance to exit loop. If, it, if it, I've got more than just a cleric, I go down... Uh, Go down and do the other loop towards the uh, the monk at piece. Well, you you would have at least two clerks if, if I ended up coming, so it'd be easy peasy. Yeah, Viper. Yeah. If we uh, if we do end up doing something a little bit later, I will definitely be streaming that, so you guys can look forward to it. Not sure what it will be yet. It could uh, it could be Howling Stones. It could be Seb. I'm not sure what they're going to get up to. Uh, like I said, I'm going to step out for a little bit, talk to uh, Nibers, maybe see if we can figure things out or we'll work stuff um, for next time we do these raids. Uh, we'll be a little bit more smooth, and uh, then we'll be coming back in. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned for all that. I was actually watching um, Tecmos on YouTube. Uh, he's got a, a bunch of Enchanter soloing videos. He was doing Howling Stones, and I was like, you know, I haven't been there in a dog's age. I wouldn't mind trying that again. He was soloing, but it's the same thing if you're duoing with a cleric or, you know, with a small group. As far as the enchanters work, you just have heals. Yeah. All right, guys. I am gating out. And I will go ahead and end the stream here, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to uh, stay tuned. Catch us in maybe half an hour, a little bit longer, depending on how things go. Uh, but you should get a notification if you are following the channel. Uh, if not, just kind of refresh the page from time to time. I will keep it up. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'm AC Gamer. Till next time. Like and subscribe, guys.